These drives are ARRA compliance. They're assembled in the USA, so that also helps. Um, but we'll go through a little bit about what a VFD is kind of behind the scenes, and we're talking about the gray section of these VFDs at the moment. This is the power section of the VFD. So all of them are going to take three-phase power in, and they're going to convert that three-phase power to DC power inside the drive and pulse it out in a simulated AC waveform to the motor. Okay, so that's very standard technology. I think the big thing that I want to point out that's a little different is some drives have chokes and filters, and some don't. Um, how many of you have harmonic issues in buildings? Or There's a couple of things that the drives, uh, this drive has, and this is where you, sometimes when you compare this versus Yaskawa or ABB or Graham or others, there's slight differences around the level of protection that you'll get with the VFD, and therefore the level of worry you don't have to have because of what the VFD has in it. So sometimes what you'll see is an EMC filter, an AC choke, a line reactor, perhaps up front in the VFD, other drives will have a DC choke internal to the VFD, and all of these are designed to protect the VFD and ultimately the motor that's downstream, but also to reduce the harmonics that uh, may be affecting the VFD from other components in the building, but also throwing off harmonics back into the grid. So our drives, these smart drives, all come with an EMC filter. It's a C2 level, which doesn't need to mean a lot, but it's a commercial building rated EMC filter. So you can put the drive basically anywhere in a commercial building and it's not going to affect other components in that building. And this is per more of a European standard. Okay, so it's, it's a very high level filtration. C3 would be an industrial filter and then below that it would be no filtration at all. Okay, so there's no worries about generally sticking these anywhere that you want to, assuming the environment's correct. The other thing has got a DC choke on all of the drives, even the smallest one of this size, this is a one and a half horse typically, I think most of these are one, one and a half, 208, 230, it's got a DC choke to reduce the harmonics and it meets the European standards. Europe has very specific device standards to meet harmonics. Yaskawa doesn't sell in Europe because they don't meet those harmonic standards, okay? In the US it's IEEE 519, which is a total building harmonic issue and these drives do a great job of keeping harmonics down within the building system so you don't have to worry about any sort of accumulated harmonics in the building. So, you know, a lot of people in the controls industry, they, they voted that Jerry is the most handsome man in the controls industry. Is there any truth to that in your opinion? I, I have no comment. <laughs> you need to control it or measure it. Stromquist and Company has a control solution for you. 